Hello everyone, Chris here, and today I want to show you a little trick you can do within Notepad++. And that's to use macros to save text input as a repeatable function that you can call to basically paste back in that same text uh, into your file at a future date anytime you want just by hitting a key combination on your computer. So to do that, you have to go to macro and start recording. I already hit that on accident. So we're going to stop recording and then start recording again. And now from this point, whatever I put into the document is actually going to be recorded as a macro, at least temporarily. So let's go ahead and create a signature because that's a typical thing you would do with macros. Although you could also use it in coding since Notepad++ is typically used as uh, more along those kinds of things, uh, scripting, coding, that sort of thing, um, to possibly set up dummy functions. Um, basically, do a lot of the repeatable work that you need to type in all the time anyway, and make it a macro so that you can type all of that just by hitting two keys on your keyboard. So, Chris's tutorials, and we're going to say, Rockstar is 2015. Um, be sure to like, comment. <laughs> Like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, that's a that's a decent signature macro, I suppose. So now we'll go ahead and go up to File, Stop Recording. Uh, you don't have to select all the text like I just did right there. And now it's going to be saved in playback. The same thing we just typed, that's going to be playback. So bam, 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 bam. You can see it makes it really, really easy to report in that text in the same way that copy and paste does but we can permanently store it. So what we need to do now is go back up to macro, save current recorded macro, give it a name, Chris's seg, how about that? Now, um, one thing you do need to keep in mind, when you're assigning a key combination to here, it doesn't really do a good job of telling you um, what keys are already bound. So if you do save this macro and it doesn't work, it might be conflicting with another key binding. Um, like control Q might already be used for something. Um, I, I imagine that's like quitting the program right there. So we're just going to try to give it something that is very unusual, but you can remember. So like shift plus alt, and then let's say the I key. I, I seriously doubt that conflicts with anything. Now we go back up to the macro menu, and you don't have to remember them because they'll all be right here. And you can see Chris's sig, alt, shift, I. Of course, if you make one and you don't want it, you can hit modify macros, um, delete some of these, and uh, that's all good. So, um, that said, we're going to close this back out. And now we can use it again. Control, alt, I, or shift, alt, I, and then bam, bam, bam. Now this would be pretty useful, uh, as I mentioned, with uh, programming functions, repeating a function input, setting things up for you. But there's a lot of different things you can do with macros, and depending on what program you're using that actually supports macros, you can also have it do something like uh, boot up another program. It basically, um, all of these little menu options, uh, like, oh, okay, post it F12, that's effectively what a macro can be, depending on the program. But um, as far as I know, basically this is for text and, and uh, Notepad++, but it's still useful. So if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. I've been Chris. Thank you very much for watching, and I will talk to you guys next time.